Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Teen Stock Renew Femi Podcast. I hope you're fine and I hope you're doing good. Last week's episode, we talked about count your blessings and the episode was simply me just counting my blessings over God's goodness and grace over my life. And there are times you really just need to just sit down and count your blessings, count God's goodness over your life. So yeah, that's what last week's episode was about. If you have not listened to that episode yet, please listen to it. And also, Teen Stock Unifemi podcast clocked two years on the 31st of October, 2024. <laughs> and that day went to... Well. I got a lot of well wishes from people and I just want to say a big thank you. Thank you for being a strong supporter of Teen Stock Greeny Family Podcast. And I definitely know that God is doing so much with this podcast. So how my week went, we thank God for my week. And this is me showing up on this podcast even if I don't want to. I was not planning to drop an episode today, but we show up regardless, right? <laughs> that being said, let's get into the business of the day. Okay, welcome to the episode. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about the hand of the Lord. Yesterday, I found myself sitting somewhere. You know, just thinking, talking to God, communicating with Him. And the word, the hand of the Lord just came to my mind. And I just thought to talk about it. The hand of the Lord is a symbol of God's grace and blessings in your life. When you say the hand of the Lord is upon me, that's because truly the hand of the Lord is upon you. His grace is upon you. His power is upon you. His blessings is upon you. And I want you to look at Joshua 4.24. And I'll be reading an amplified version. Joshua 4.24a. I'm just going to be reading a part of that Joshua 4.24. And it says, So that all the peoples of the earth may know and acknowledge that the hand of the Lord is mighty and extraordinarily powerful. That's the part I want to read. The hand of the Lord is mighty and extraordinarily powerful. His word has already said it. The hand of the Lord is mighty and powerful so you should really come to the consciousness of the fact that the hand of the lord is upon you now i'm going to read another verse of the bible luke 166 and i'm also going to read in a particular part of that luke 166 and it says for the hand of the lord was certainly with him and if you read that verse of luke maybe from verse 57 down to 66 it was talking about the birth of john and it's just saying that the hand of the lord was with him after he was given birth to so i really want you to understand the importance of the hand of the lord the hand of the lord does wonders the hand of the lord does miracles and do you know this song the song that says oh no i'm there me for for those who don't understand you but it means the hand of the lord is upon my life it is carrying me up it is carrying me to run and it just makes you see how wonderful the hand of the lord is it is on your life it carries you up it promotes you it lifts you up and when the hand of the lord is upon you you experience divine favor and blessings you experience another dimension of the blessing of god like you just see that every single thing you do turns out good every single thing you want to do is smooth is is free of issues is free of troubles and when the hand of the lord is upon you another thing is that you are protected on all sides you really don't have to be scared of oh what is going to happen to me today oh i want to cross the road i just hope a car does not hit me the hand of the lord is upon you and by that you have such confidence that you are protected by god you are protected by him on all sides in every aspect of your life you are protected by him and when the hand of the lord is upon you you see him in everything you do you see his hand in everything you do and when the hand of the lord is upon you it makes your way prosperous and by making your way prosperous every single thing you do turns out for good every single thing 
you do is fruitful and multiplies when the hand of the lord is upon you you are his for example let's say you want to do something or you want to do something and then your dad places his hand upon you or you did something good and he places his hand upon you and saying you did well my child that's how it feels when the hand of the lord is upon you it's simply telling you that you are his and because you are his no harm will come near you because you are his is going to bless you because you are his is going to favor you then the last thing i want to say is when the hand of the lord is upon you you receive strength on days when your strength is not sufficient because generally your strength is not sufficient for you you have the strength of the lord upon you when your strength is not sufficient god's strength speaks for you god's strength works for you so when the hand of the lord is upon you you receive his strength from your head to the sole of your feet and yes that's what i have to say on this episode today but before i come to a close i just want to say a short prayer lord we thank you lord we give you all the glory give you all the honor we give you all the adoration lord today's topic is about the hand of the lord and i pray oh lord that you grant us the grace and the consciousness to know that your hand is upon us may that you rest your mighty hands your mighty and powerful hands on us in jesus name amen see you on another episode God loves you so much. He loves you so, so much. Bye.